Hey there, I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN's Chief Medical Correspondent, also a practicing neurosurgeon. Uh, you know, I'm extremely excited to announce that I just joined the Health Join-In Social Fitness Jury on the Shorty Awards Real-Time Academy. As a doctor, also as an avid tweeter myself, I have to tell you, I take these jury duties uh, pretty seriously. Uh, and so, so let me tell you what I'm looking for. Uh, people who use social platforms to empower others to live healthier and longer lives. We really want to shine the spotlight on those of you who are not only taking health advice, but also sharing your tips and your strategies, what's worked for you to pay it forward for others. So I'm going to be judging the social fitness category for the fifth annual Shorty Awards. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I get, get a lot of questions already from many of you, including a few from our, our real health contributors, Phyllis Goldberg and Rosemary Lichtman. Here's one of their questions. Uh, I think we saw it over here. Um, I saw your clip where you stated that a change of activity is a form of rest. It's a model that you live your life by. With all the ups and downs in life, what are some ways that you've changed activities in your own life? Um, it's, this is a great question. It's uh, something that I say quite a bit. You know, I, I think when you think of your own physical body, you think that if you're working a particular muscle group, uh, you can't do that forever, so you switch to different muscle groups. You think of your brain sort of the same way, not as one muscle, but a series of muscles. So a change of activity for me as a form of rest is literally starting to exercise a different muscle in my brain. If I've been riding for a while, I might go do something else. I try and give myself really compartmentalized time to try and uh, address particular problems that I have with work. And that, for me, is a form of rest. Just change it up constantly throughout the day. It makes a big difference. Got another question as well. Um, this one, do you take any health inspiration from your parents? Uh, you know, I think we all take health inspiration from our parents. You know, me being South Asian, being Indian, I think a lot of it revolved around diet. Uh, we had a lot of different types of foods that we ate uh, as a kid, and a lot of those foods were, were, were healthy foods, uh, things that I uh, started continuing to eat as an adult, even feeding my own kids, but also just looking at your family's health, health issues, the sort of things that they have experienced can be a little bit of a prism, a little bit of a crystal ball into what you might experience as well. So keep track of that family history that can help you live a longer and better life. So I love these questions. Keep them coming in. And I want to chat with you as well. So find me on Twitter. We, we can have the conversation there. And make an appointment with me every Saturday and Sunday at SGMD. That's my uh, program on CNN. Good luck to all the social fitness nominees. Make sure to check out the shortyawards.com.